5950X and Big Navi. Once those two products came out for Warzone, the counter in the top left stopped meaning anything. The 6900 mark is so bad for resellers, so I went for $700. That's rough, dude. Yeah, nobody wants that shit, dude. I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't fucking, nobody wants that shit. Oh my God, dude. Look at that. That's brand new. My goal was to get a high FPS. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, you know how many people buy the 6900 XT and don't see the stutter? I'm, that's the only conclusion that I can come to about that graphics card of why people defend it so hard. They just don't see it. So it has to be, right? Anyone, anyone that plays competitive shooters, dude, every single Warzone streamer, they don't use that shit, dude. They, they all tried it, all of them. And they all got off of it because of how fucking dog shit it is, right? And I'm convinced that if anybody's like, it's the best for Warzone, which a lot of optimizers do that shit, they don't, they don't play the game or they can't see it, dude. There's, it's just, um, their genetics cannot see frame stutters and frame pacing. They just can't, their eyes can't see it, dude. You know, I, all I, all I can hope for is that anyone that bought one of these graphics cards by listening to another influencer i just hope you learned your lesson dude that's all i can say because um um i feel like in order for somebody to recommend a product for competitive gaming they should be a competitive gamer themselves you know what i'm saying they should be quite a high of a rank like, you wouldn't take audio advice from a fucking plumber. It doesn't make any sense. But for some reason, in the hardware community, people take advice from other people that have a completely different sectors of, of um, skill sets. Like, you don't take esports advice from Jay's Two Cents. You don't do that shit. You don't take audio advice from a fucking plumber you don't take mechanics advice from a doctor like it like 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 you know what i'm saying but for some reason this optimizer guy on twitter this random fucking dude from fiverr is saying this is the best shit oh he's got it like maybe maybe um maybe ask for his credentials first bro what's your kd what's your rank in apex what's what's your score like what's your hit what's your headshot percentage ratio like maybe like ask for some fucking credentials you know what i mean before you take advice on gate on performance gaming right i don't know it seems like common sense but nobody does that shit dude nobody um you know why because the 6900 xt shows an extremely high fps number and do you remember how many people used to come into my chat and like mutex's chat and shit and they're like oh your fps is so low i'm like dude don't worry about it those people don't know what the fuck they're talking about just trust me the, like all those fucking nerds talking about the 6900 xt they're not gamers they they cannot their eyes cannot see frame time delivery whatsoever dude just ignore that shit that's exactly what it is ruin burrito it's not even a 150 fps dips dude it's like a hundred it the 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 counter in the top left corner blips to 150 but the real blip goes to like 90 to 100 it's it's unbearable but the 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 blip in the counter on the top left happens when you enable reflex too right but you don't feel it because it's still within that one percent low range of the overall thing right you have to it is okay especially in war zone you have to ignore the counter now more than ever after after 
after big navi came out like the 6900 xt after big navi came out and the 5950x 5950x and big navi once those two products came out for warzone the counter in the top left stopped meaning anything it changed the game completely right because the averages and the highs are too fucking high dude it's so deceiving and the performance is so bad a lot of games are like that too you can't look like just turn it off turn the fucking counter off dude if you do have a 6900 xt and you don't see any problems with it when you're playing then stop worrying about it first of all don't worry about what i say don't worry about what anybody else says don't worry about what any content creators say if you're happy with the product go play games and enjoy it and who gives a shit right likewise with any other product that's out there if you buy something first of all pro tip don't buy something and then research how it performs after that's fucking stupid don't do that shit research how it performs before you buy it okay if you bought a product and you know you made a mistake after return it if you can't return it don't be that guy that goes on to other communities trying to convince them how great your purchase was just admit that you fucked up and don't make the same mistake next time that's it that's what adults do they admit their mistakes and move on and they don't make the same mistake twice but again don't worry about it warzone is almost dead now anyway warzone 2 is coming out soon Maybe the big navvy shit problem will be gone, right? Maybe it'll be gone. Let's hope for the best.